Welcome to Rising Vibrations. I'm Inga. This reading is for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. This is for those of you who can't go back to an ex, but you can't seem to move forward. There seems to be some type of a karmic tie to them. You've tried cord cutting exercises in the past. They worked, and then they didn't. And you're a bit at a loss to try to understand why you have a bond with this person, but you want to move on with your life. We're going to look at the general atmosphere of why this is happening for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Look at what can be out there in terms of your energetic will right now. We're going to also look at the relationship with this other person who you seem to not be able to break away from and look at ways that we can uh, help. So let's go ahead and get into this. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. Why they still feel attached to this other person and why this other person seems to still have a hold on them. We're start, starting off with the two of wands. There seems to have been some expectations with the Taurus that they may have tied up in this relationship with this other person. So take the emphasis away from an actual other person and just on the expectations that the Taurus had seems, seems to have been very important to them. How they pictured their life, how they pictured their future. They have built up this uh, story. They have built up this dream even of how things would play out. And it seems they were moving forward with this. I feel like there were also promises made that weren't necessarily delivered. The promises were made with good intention, maybe a little bit too optimistic. They couldn't deliver. And then there was a great deal of pressure around this for the Taurus of them wanting to prove that they could be the man or woman that they have promised to be and provide the things that they have promised to provide to this person or to their family. Let's see, two of wands. Let's see with the other person, what seems to be bonding your energy to them, why you feel like you can't go back, that you can't go forward, and you want to start dating and seeing other people, but it's just very difficult right now. We have the king of coins. So it seems to me that the Taurus could be or could have been in a relationship or situation where there was a great deal of the emphasis put on material gain, material wealth. And again, this action of having to deliver, I feel like the person could have been very materialistic, very much looking towards not necessarily just using the Taurus, but they felt like the Taurus could be a good provider in whatever respect was important to them, whether that's having a beautiful house, beautiful car, a lot of money. It seems to be a lot of emphasis on the material and the Taurus having some deficiencies in how they could deliver everything that this person wanted and even that they wanted for their future. The best schools, the best food, the best situation, things like this. Seems like the Taurus wanted to deliver a dream that was very difficult for them to follow through on. So let's look at why you still may be stuck. Again, the status and what can help. We have another one fill out, so we're going to go ahead and take it. Major Arcana, the Lovers, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So again just not really measuring up. It's like a lot of emphasis was put on, put on work and money in order to bring on a happy life, but it didn't seem to be the case. There were other things that could, could have been health that had to be managed that superseded the fun life or emphasis on material things. Just wasn't working out how it was planned and just put a great deal of pressure in the relationship but for the Taurus they wanted to they wanted this for themselves and they wanted this for their life so the Taurus could be struggling because what they had planned 
with this person didn't work out, but they wanted to give it to this person. And they still feel like even though it didn't work, they wanted to give it to this person. They wanted to see this person happy. They want to see this person happy, but with them. But with them, they wanted to have this person and bring this life for this person. This is why they're still feeling stuck. They wanted to bring a good life for this person and for them together. Together. So let's see from the other person's side. That just kind of came out, but we're not going to take it. We have the Page of Cups. They have been a, a, a younger partner. We have the Five of Coins. I'm not taking that. Oh, well. So... On the side of the other person, what's bonding you? We have Major Arcana, the Tower. We have the Five of Pentacles. And we have the Page of Cups. The intentions were there. Was true intentions. There was, there were promises made. There was a lot of love. There was a plan. But it seems to me that life took over. And the Taurus is having a hard time dealing with this. It's like something interfered in that process. It could have been hardships at work, job loss, something like this. And it's like, why did all this happen? It could have gone so well. So the Taurus, that's where they're at. That's kind of where they're hung up, right? This is what's hanging them up. Life happens, Taurus. Sometimes things don't go down how we plan. Sometimes the perfect person that we want, that we want to have that life with, it just doesn't work out because everything can go awry. We have the Knight of Swords. This feels to be like, be careful about the promises that you make, Taurus. Not promising too much, being realistic about your expectations. There's a requirement to be realistic about your expectations. So how does this reading help you? You have to back up and you have to think, why are you still stuck on this person? Why can't you forget about them? How much of it is about them and how much of it is about you and your expectations? You made promises that perhaps have to be broken. And this might be what's eating you up for it. Just recognizing, okay, it didn't work out. I was, I reached too high. I reached too far. I promised too much. I, I can't deliver. I don't, I don't have to say face in that way with this person anymore. And it's also that if you weren't a success at some point with something that you had planned, you may still be trying to prove to that person. I feel like they're watching you from afar that you can be a success. Like success is the greatest revenge now. I have to be a success because I want to prove to this person that I was always going to be a success and they gave up on me too early. They didn't believe in me. Taurus, this seems to be what energy is attached to you clearly in this reading. It's for you to think about though if it fits. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Look at that. So for the last two pulls of the karmic energy, we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Knight of Swords. Very young energy. Uh, uh, um, a lot of goodwill in there. Also a lot of mistakes in there. A lot of, let's say, bravado. Again, it feels like promises. I, I can bring you the world. I promise you the world. I'll put the world in your hands with this Two of Wands. That's what young people do. And it could have been like that, but you just lack the... The, the, the assets, the opportunities to deliver what you promised. And now you maybe are in this place where you're trying to show success is the best revenge because a person walked out on you. Don't make it about them. Make it about you, about achieving what you need for your life. Not trying to prove anything to anyone might be the best course of action now for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. I'm going to go ahead and pull one of the good tarots and read it out. One. We have the nine of earth. Just try to come earlier. And the ones that flipped, if you go back and watch one, try to flip out, it was the nine of coins. I'm going to go ahead and read that for you. 
You can stick around now or you could go off. It's up to you. So discipline, self-reliance, reliable sources, restraint, and self-control, the final stone placed in the foundation. I know I can rely on myself and spirit. There are many tools at my disposal and I use my resources wisely, solidifying the foundation of my security in the material world. I am diligent, disciplined, focused on completing the work I began long ago. I stick to my program, trusting that the plan is unfolding before me exactly as spirit intended. So it seems to be relatively consistent with the reading. You have to go back and listen to the reading and see how that fits because it definitely does. Who are you building up your life for? And what are what are your expectations for you outside of anyone else? Making promises to yourself that you want to keep for yourself and really no one else. That's what's the most important thing right now for Taurus. We're going to go ahead and leave it there. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye-bye.